Welcome to Miracis, and thank you for joining us. This video will quickly go over the basics of video export and the settings that you will encounter in a standard export. After selecting the channel that you wish to export, in the lower left hand side of the video, select Export. You'll notice that the camera name is now located to the left of the time slider bar. If you wish to export more than one video, feel free to select up to a total of eight of those cameras. Since I already know the time frame that I want to export, I can jump to that time using the date and time selection on the left hand side. I can use the arrows to jump by days or by hours, or I can select the time from the drop down menu. Also Spotter allows you to type in the desired time. Using the scroll wheel, I am able to zoom into the time that I am wanting to export, allowing for a more precise export. Once I have found the beginning of the video that I am needing, I can press this button to set the start of my clip to be where my slider bar is located. I'll move my slider bar a little to the right and set the end of my clip to that point. I can set that by pressing this button. You'll notice that the time located in the center shows the current total time of this export. Once you are ready to export, press the green Start Export button. This window is where you can choose your save path and name of the export clip. Also you'll see that we have a range of export options. ASF, a format that allows the user to utilize extra functions in Spotter Player, such as 360 dwarp. AVI, commonly used video file that can be played just about anywhere. Matroska, or MKV, is compressed for a smaller size, only playable in a few digital video players, such as VLC. SEF, a proprietary Miracis format that has a very fast export while still allowing the user the same functionality as the ASF. To learn more, please visit us using the links provided in the video description.